It's been five days since the glass appeared over town. No one knows where it came from or how it got there. It's as if it just appeared as we slept. I remember that morning well. My alarm went off. 6 a.m. Time to get dressed for school. Did I have a llama scouts meeting that day or was it drama club? I honestly can't remember. When I got out of bed, I found that the rest of the neighborhood had risen before me and were all standing in varying degrees of undress staring at the sky, their mouths agape. It was such a quiet morning. You could just hear their whispers over an otherwise quiet landscape. My mother barged into my room, my toddler brother in tow behind her. Honey, come outside. I've never seen my mom scared before. It looked like the morning sun was peeking through a skylight, but it was the whole sky. The sky was glass, and we were trapped. Groups of men went out to find the edges of the glass and not only found them, found that they had buried so deep in the ground we couldn't even tunnel out. Fear and panic began to set in, people screaming and holding their families. And then it began to snow, while the ground gently shook beneath our feet. The next few days were a blur. Every so often, the ground would shake and snow would fall from the sky. And people were becoming less scared and more cheerful. It felt like the whole town had been swallowed up by some D-list Hallmark Christmas movie. I even found my mom digging through decoration boxes in the basement for tinsel, never mind that it's the middle of July. Luckily, I had kept a clear head. I avoided playing in the snow, I didn't listen to the Christmas music coming from nowhere, and I haven't slept. Not once. And the lack of sleep is catching up with me. And we don't know how long we'll have food and water for. It's a miracle the power still works. It may be the lack of sleep or the emptiness I'm starting to feel in my stomach, but I could swear that every time the damn ground shakes, which is happening more and more, I can see something. Just outside the glass. It's huge, bigger than anything I've ever seen. And it looks almost human. I don't know what it is. All I know is that it's always there, and the shaking is becoming worse by the hour. No one seems to care, but I don't know how much longer we can survive like this. My wall cracked this morning. So I'm recording this and sending it out. Maybe someone can help us. Maybe they can find us, drill through the glass. It looks thick, but I don't know. All I know is I can't. We can't do this for much longer. Please, someone help us. What are you doing? What? <laughs> 